Welcome to video 3 of a series of videos about parametric design of 3D printed model aircraft using Blender. Hopefully this will be a short video about importing airfoils downloaded from the web into Blender. I've written a short add-on to do just that. If you haven't seen the other videos in the series, there are links in the YouTube description. There are many places on the internet where you can download airfoil data. One of the best known sites is airfoiltools.com. They have a huge repository of airfoils, as well as tools to generate airfoils using the NACA 4 or 5 digit system. Let's search for a new airfoil. How about this one? The details of the airfoil can be contained in a DAT or a DAT file. There's a number of different DAT file formats. Airfoiltools.com is great in that it supports multiple versions of that file for each airfoil. The selling is the most straightforward and that's the format that my add-on uses. If we look at the details of the file, you can see it's just the name of the airfoil and a list of normalized coordinates. The Lignus format is quite similar. It provides two lists of coordinates, one for the top side of the airfoil and one for the lower side. But to be honest, I haven't found a reason to add this format to my add-on at this stage. Let's download the Selig format DAT file by right mouse clicking and selecting Save Link As. Be sure not to unzip the zip file. A quick net search will show there are a number of Blender add-ons for importing airfoil data files. Given how simple the file is, I thought it would be easier for me just to write my own add-on to support the rest of the tools that I've made, but you're welcome to use any of these other add-ons if they provide features that you find useful. If you've already downloaded the 3DP plane design file that I've mentioned in previous videos, well this already contains a zip file for the airfoil import add-on. However, I've provided a link in the YouTube description for the GitHub location for the add airfoil add-on so that it can be downloaded by itself. The location is github slash nerk987 slash add airfoil. Just click on the download link. Be sure not to unzip the add airfoil zip file. I'll start Blender. I'm using version 3.2, but this add-on should work in most versions. Go to Edit Preferences, which is shortcut F4, and then Add-ons. Click on the Install and navigate to the location of the Add Airfoil zip file. This is currently version 1.1, but just use whatever the latest version is available. I'll tick the box to enable the add-on. If you like, you can disable the add-on when you're not using it. To import an airfoil, choose Add Mesh add airfoil and navigate to the .dat file. The airfoil mesh is added to the scene. Note that the chord of the airfoil is equal to exactly one blender unit due to the normalized coordinates in the .dat file. The wing design in the previous videos rely on this dimension, so be careful not to change it. The object name has been set to the name contained in the .dat file. A blender object's like a container. It holds the position in space, the rotation, scale and other data, and it has a link to the mesh or the data structure that contains the details of the structure. We can see this in the Object Data Properties tab. The name of the data block has also been given the name of the airfoil from the DAT file. This was covered briefly in the previous video, and it provides an easy way to transfer the airfoil data structure to the root airfoil and the tip airfoil objects used in the wing generator. If I flip back to the 3DP plane design project, I'll import this new airfoil into the airfoils collection. I'll just select the .dat file and I'll move it over with the others. I'll hide that collection again and I'll go to the airfoil collection under wing design. I'll change the object data reference value to the Falcon airfoil. Well that's all for this video. Feel free to post issues you find with the add-on in the GitHub repository or to suggest improvements. The next video in the series will be dealing with the internal structures of wings which is one of the really interesting topics. Bye for now.